Today, we're going to talk about how to know how many unread push notifications are in a notification inbox so that you can show maybe a little uh, bubble above your notification icon to show how many unread messages there are. It looks something like this. So that's what we're gonna create in this video. First, if you like videos about React Native, Expo, Flutter, things like that, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We come out with videos all the time and we'll go ahead and get started. The first step, if you haven't already, is to go to nativenotify.com. Click this sign up free button. It's free to sign up. There's no credit card required. That'll take you to a screen like this. If this is your first time, you'll wanna click this create an app button. Uh, and today we're going to talk about React Native Expo. So you'll wanna click that icon. That'll take you to a page like this. Again, if this is your very first time, uh, there's some things you need to do first. First, you need to follow these start here instructions. It literally takes about a minute. Uh, all you have to do is paste this line of code into your app.js file, import this function here, um, and you're done. You already have push notifications set up. You can uh, send yourself a push notification. Here's a video that walks you through how to do that. Uh, after that, you'll notice that your notifications will show up if you click this little mail icon here. They'll start showing up here. These are all the notifications that will show up in your notification inbox. Um, and if you come back to the instructions, this notification inbox setup guide is how you get your notification inbox set up. So if you haven't done that already, you'll wanna go ahead and do that. Here's a video that walks you through how to do that. Once you do that, you're ready to create your notification icon with a little bubble on the top of it that says how many unread notifications there are. Um, to find those instructions, go down to the bottom of this page Again, we're still on this notification inbox setup guide. Just come down um, and you'll see something that says how to create a notification inbox icon that shows the number of unread notifications. Um, so we'll just go ahead and go through these together. I'll first show you, um, this is a, uh, an app called Startup Notes that I created in another video. If you'd like to see how I created it, uh, here's a video that shows how I created it. Uh, you'll notice down here, here's my notification inbox, uh, and you'll notice there's already a little a red bubble up there saying that uh, you, you have some unread messages that you, want, you need to go uh, look at. This is an Expo managed workflow app, so you do not have to eject out of Expo to use uh, the native notify package. You can just stay inside of Expo, uh, and we'll go ahead and go through these steps together. So the first step is to copy these things, paste them in your terminal, install those things. This makes sure that you have the most up-to-date uh, native notify package. We're adding new functions to it all the time. So you wanna keep it updated so you have the most up-to-date functions. All right, and it says in your footer or your header component, wherever uh, your notification inbox icon is located, make sure these imports are at the top of the screen. So if we come back to my app, I have my notification inbox icon in the footer. So I went to my uh, page called Global Footer, um, and I'll just go ahead and I'll take this out for now. I already had put this in, but let's, Come back here. I already have React, use state, use effect. So I just need to import native notify. All right. Um, and we're going to be using this get unread notification inbox count. This is the count that you can use to create the notification bubble. Step three says make sure you're using a hook function um, as your notification inbox function. Uh, this is very important. If you're not using hooks, uh, this won't work. If uh, I made a video on hooks, how they work, uh, you can see that video right here. Also, if you're not sure how hooks work, there's a link right here that'll walk you through it. Super simple, not complicated to do at all. The next step is uh, you'll want to make sure you have some sort of state where you can house the uh, count of unread notifications. Um, and so you could just copy this. You could name it whatever you want. All right, I'm gonna come up here and I'll paste that right there. Okay, and it says step five, you copy this use effect and paste this somewhere in your function. So I'm gonna go ahead and come here. 
I'll paste that right there. Uh, some things to notice here that are really important. Uh, you'll wanna make sure you're using an async function as your use effect function so that you can use this await term here. If you don't use the await term, you won't get uh, the information in time. So you, you need to have this be an async function so you can use await so that you wait for the unread count to come before you set the count. So um, that's what this function does, this get unread notification inbox count. Uh, you'll notice your app ID and your app token are already in there for you. So you don't have to do, uh, you don't have to put those in. They're already put in for you. Uh, this will return a number. So it'll be the number of total unread notifications. So you'll notice over here, um, I have a console log here that says unread count. Uh, it returns the value of the total unread notification. So currently this user has 11 unread notifications. Okay, and then you're actually done. Step six just says you can then use the unread notification count uh, to create a little bubble over your notification icon. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how I have this set up. Uh, if you come down here, you'll notice there's this mail icon here. The way I have it set up is I say, if unread notification count has a value that's truthy, then return this little red bubble, else return nothing. So since, um, so for example, if the number were zero, this should not show. And I'll show you once I click on it, it'll say all the messages are red. And so I'll show you that in a second. But um, as long as this number is above zero, which it is, it's 11, um, it'll appear. It'll show that red dot to signify, hey, you have some unread messages. Now let's go ahead and click here. All right, so here are all the notifications in the notification inbox. And if I come back to this uh, inbox here, you'll, you can see here are all the notifications that are showing up in the notification inbox. Um, and you'll notice this little red dot went away. Uh, and that's because now the unread count is zero. So that's the basics of how you create a notification inbox. Now, I just wanna point out something here. Uh, you'll notice in this notification inbox, I did not put a number. The reason uh, can be explained if you go back to the instructions, which I'll go back. Uh, down here, it explains an important note about the unread notification count. So I'll just explain it. So the way it works is each time your user installs the app, there's a new uh, push notification token created. We use that token to know how many unread messages there are. Um, but the problem is if the user updates, if you publish an update of your app, if the user updates your app, or if uh, the user deletes the app and installs it again, uh, that number, that unread count will reset to the total number of notifications in your inbox. So if there's 100 push notifications in your notification inbox, it'll say they have 100 unread notifications, even if um, they've had the app before and maybe they just have one unread notification. Um, so that's why from a UX UI standpoint, it, it makes the most sense for just the normal push notification inbox uh, that collects the notification sent to everybody to just do a red dot. Um, if you did want to use the number, an actual number that's accurate, the way you would do that is you'd have to set up um, indie, an indie notification inbox. And the instructions for that can be found right here. Uh, the way an indie notification inbox is set up is it's set up for each individual user. Uh, whenever you create an indie notification inbox, you send us a specific user ID, sub ID, um, and then you can just use that user ID from then on out to create this uh, notification inbox. You'll notice when you're getting the indie notification inbox, you put your uh, indie push token here. Well, uh, you'll find out about this in another video, but if you come down here, it'll show you can get the unread indie notification inbox 
uh, by also putting your indie push ID here. If you do it that way, then the number is going to be accurate um, no matter what. And so you can go ahead and put a number in this little dot here and it'll be accurate because anytime your user logs in, uh, you can just put their user ID that you probably save in global state into the get indie uh, notification inbox count function uh, and it'll be accurate. But we'll talk about that in another video coming up. If you'd like to uh, see that video, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We'll be coming out with that video next week. Um, so you'll want to stay posted. Thanks for watching this video. Google thinks you'll like this video. If you like this video, please like the video and subscribe, hit the bell icon. We come out with videos all the time. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time.